What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. We finally got the Aliens FX Predator bus in the house. So these are the two boxes. That's obviously going to be the head. And that's going to be the body and probably everything else. Decent weight to both, which is, you know, a good thing. Uh, but hopefully there's no issues. Praying to the statue gods that this arrives safely. I'm going to do this probably in a two-part video. Depends how long it is. I'm not going to film myself taking off the bubble wrap, of course, but maybe just one video, we'll see. But extremely excited to get this. I'll leave a link in the description below of his Instagram account, and that is how I communicated with him. Good communication. Didn't take him too long to finish this. Sent me tons of photos. Made adjustments when I asked them. So overall, you know, A plus in working with, but let's see how it is in person. Alrighty, folks. So I've been digging through, making a huge mess, but this is what we got. So we got chest necklace, a neck necklace, scorpion dog tag, two batteries, the body, uh, these two which hold the head, shoulder like thing with the shoulder cannon and the skull. As far as I can tell, I didn't see any damage on anything, although I didn't like check these. The body has a decent weight. This is the inside you can kind of see. So it does actually have a bottom, it's not like open. Same thing with the bottom of this. You know, it's black, so it's like similar to like a licensed bust. You know, the big difference obviously is this is hollow inside and it's being held by that, not that, which is more, I mean, it is hollow, but then it's like solid on the part and then the head pegs in. You know, where this, it's being held up by this. But overall, the body looks good. You know, this is real rope. Everything else is fully sculpted. You know, this feels like some sort of possibly wire material. But looks good so far. Uh, liking what I see. Now, of course, you know, the head is going to be probably the most important thing. It also did come with this massive, you know, Predator logo, which I can either use this or the Prime 1 logo. I'm going to test them both. I may even swap that out for that one because this is bigger. So I could put the bigger one right there and potentially even use that on the base or the prime one. We'll see. So I'm going to assume the mask is probably already on the butt, the head. Uh, that's my guess. But let's go ahead and get this out. Alrighty, YouTubers. So we got the head out and the statue gods did not treat me well. Uh, it has broken teeth. So this tooth is completely broken off and you can see it's starting to break off there and that one also is breaking off so damn this fucking sucks had to be the head too why couldn't it be like something like that that could easily be you know fixed now we did fully insure this so we're going to file an insurance claim, no doubt. So I'm going to be taking some photos. God damn it. He did have the mask with this like little towel on front of this, you know, and it was bubble wrapped styrofoam peanuts. Let me just check and see. These are soft, but even with all of that, the tooth still broke. I'm really surprised. I didn't think it would. And is that the only thing broken? I believe so. I'll have to double check. But yeah, the tooth is broken. So I'm going to take a bunch of photos and send it to him. God damn it. This sucks. Why did it have to be broken? Duh. I'm curious how good a glue job I'll be able to do. Yeah, this definitely is going to need to go top shelf looking at it. It's going to need to go right there. We'll be able to set it up. I'm going to take some photos of everything that's broke so we can, you know, file a claim. And we'll look into repair options. I want to see how it looks when I glue it. But as you can see, we do have two damages. So... I almost feel like with the teeth, they should maybe consider the, it's always the mouth that breaks, you know, even on my prime one, if you guys remember my open mouth bust arrived broken with the teeth, it, it's just such a delicate piece because it's protruding teeth. So 
yeah, we're going to have to, all right, let me take photos and glue it. Alrighty, folks. So I haven't put anything else on because I did want to look at this without, you know, any of the bone necklaces or shoulder cannon. Because, of course, the shoulder cannon is optional. I mean, technically, when he went unmasked in the movie, he didn't wear the shoulder cannon. He did drop it. But the shoulder cannon looks way too cool to not display it. Here's kind of how it looks on the base. I haven't really, like, fixed it. You know, it's not even and it's not fixed. But I did just want to see how it looked just initially, make sure it fits. It does fit my base good, you know, and I definitely have space to display what I want. Uh, but the base works good. Uh, I do want to install all the necklaces and get all that. In terms of, you know, the damaged, let me show you. So this one is pretty good in terms of not being able to see it. This one, not so much especially like inside right there you know you can see that damage pretty good so this tooth is definitely cursed from the outside you can see it right there so not a ton i can do about that now aliens fx did insure this i believe this one is insured either 1500 or 2000 dollars for the head and you know, so we're going to file an insurance claim and he said he'd help me with any type of repair. So I don't know if maybe I just ship the head back to him. He, you know, fixes it and ships it back and then hopefully it arrives. No damage. You know, he did ship it with the mask on and a cloth. I do wonder if that was maybe a mistake, perhaps, and he should have had the mask separate. I don't think I would probably ship it with the mask on if I'm brutally honest, because, you know, pressure on the mask puts pressure on the teeth. And so I probably would not have done that and just did the mask separate over there or in its own separate little box. This is how the mask looks on the underneath. Now, this is just like a wire mesh and meaning you can like see the eyes through it and that has like the battery and it does come with a remote. Now, on my other bios, so this one has like the mesh, but then there's something underneath. Uh, this one, you know, not even really mesh, it's kind of just sculpted. You know, and then Prime 1, they do mesh with almost like a sunglasses reflective material. You know, and there's also is like the whole eye. Uh, it's a little bit different on this. As you can see, it's just the two eyeballs. So I'm going to be watching the movie today to see kind of what's most accurate. Uh, you know, I can easily install like a reflective film like that, for example, inside if I don't like the, you know, the masked look, being able to see the eyes on the inside. Granted, it is dark, of course, but we'll see how it looks. Uh, for now, I'm going to remove the head, install basically all of this, and then put the head back, and then we'll review it on the table, and then we'll move it next to Cinema Cat and see how that looks. And also, I do want to compare it to Fugitive. It is very big, I will say. Uh, you know, it's quite a big bust. Uh, definitely a lot bigger than the Fugitive bust. Much more body, because Fugitive kind of ends about right here. So this has an extra, golly, maybe six, seven inches worth of body. Because Fugitive, I believe, is like 32 inches tall. And I believe this is 36. You know, so a lot of that is just that extra body. The head sizes are similar in size. Uh, so that is similar. And of course this has more arm length as well, right here on each side. Alrighty. So we got the three bone necklaces on, <clears throat> uh, so you have this neck one. It is a little bit different than the prime one, uh, but I think it's more comparable to the cinema cat. Uh, and then you have this one and that's, you know, looks really good. You know, and then you have this one, and this one is like a different color, more, you know, those are yellowish, this one's a little bit more whitish, and that one just wraps around here, and he uses some sort of, I don't know what this is, like a leather, leather string, this one has a ton of extra things, so I'm, I might just cut it. Uh, just because it's super long, but that's kind of how it looks so far. Alrighty, YouTubers, so we do got the Jungle Hunter bust all set up. 
Now, I did see a few additional damages, and I also realized my mask is damaged, and one of the other tooths on there is also damaged. There's some more scuff marks, so I'm going to probably need a completely new head and mask. The mask got damaged right here. So, you can see it right there somehow. I don't know how the heck this got damaged, honestly. But, yeah, so... That is damaged. And I have the light on so you can see it a little bit better. This tooth is starting to come off. Like, if you touch it, you know, like, that's coming off. You know, and then there's scuff marks here, there, 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 there. Heck, that even looks like a scuff mark. Yeah, I feel like I need a completely new head. Uh, we'll turn this light off. So, new head and new mask. Everything else, no issues. But for some reason, this little box got the crap beaten out of it. So, yeah, I I did ask him to double box it. Unfortunately, he didn't. Uh, but, I mean, from a distance, obviously, I can't see it. But, of course, you want to look at something up close. And, unfortunately, we have just too many issues on this, you know, like, I can't even hide it because the mask is also damaged. So, there is light up, of course, on both. And I'll show you the mask on and everything. But this is more or less how it's going to look. You know, I thought about using the Prime 1 logo, but it's a little small for how big the bust is. So, we're going to use this logo. Although, I might actually switch this for that because that one's a little bit smaller and I think it would work a little bit better. So most likely we'll just do a little switcheroo on those two logos. But this was kind of the idea I came up with. You know, I wanted to do the scorpion and then the dog tag leaves everywhere. You know, it's on a black underbase. This logo is just too big, frankly. And then the Max Skull next to it. So let's uh, look at this. This is very light. Probably got this off Etsy's my guess. You know, I did remove the tooth, and it does have that little blast mark. So, you know, it doesn't look nearly as good, of course, as, like, the Prime 1, for example, which has that much more gray look, more weathered, black inside the nose and eyes. But it does look good, not as good as that. I think he did a pretty good job in the Scorpion. Uh, if I was to guess, this is probably something just from like Amazon, like a fake Scorpion you buy and then he painted it. Uh, it looks good though. Uh, you know, overall it looks pretty good. The dog tag, I'm pretty confident he made these. So it does say CE Hopper, a bunch of numbers, Catholic, C, P, O, S. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's aluminum. And then obviously the metal chain. The overall body, now if I was to guess, this is like a thin resin. You know, and then he does have the rope. And I want to show you just the up close detail. You know, and then in comparison to like Cinema Cat. Cinema Cat is a 10 year old piece. Now, one thing he definitely needs to start adding to this piece, you, you see these little, like, spikes? You know, it's he's supposed to have them on the chest. You know, like, Cinema Cat has it, although it's kind of, like, sculpted in. Cinema Cat even has it on, like, the legs. Uh, he does have some, like, here on the shoulders, which this one's actually broken. Uh, but... You know, like Prime 1, let me show you this, for example. As you can see, tons of them. Tons of them right here in the middle, like, middle of the armor, second layer of the armor area. So, I think that is a miss. Uh, he needs to add those to it. Uh, there needs to be a bunch right here, as far as I can tell. I mean, he just paints it like a bunch of black, more or less, just like these dots. The skin color is good. It is different than this. It's probably a little bit more similar to the Prime 1. I think the skulls look good, but they could be better. I think they could use some more weathering. I do like this. 
I think the necklace, these two, should be a little bit, uh, maybe just like darker. They're white, yellow. I would have done them differently, personally. I, I, I mean, I really like the way Prime 1 did it. I think Prime 1 actually did the best when it comes to the skulls, more so than Cinemaquette. You know, like, look at theirs. Theirs also has a lot more to it, so I'm not sure which one's accurate or not. But, you know, like, I like this color a little bit better. Now, in terms of the armor, I think he did a really good job overall on the armor. You know, he got the... The blast mark here, which I asked him to add that. The three battle damage spots. You have this, which is a little flexible. And it has the entire armor up, you know, right here it cuts off. Overall, I think the armor looks good. Then you have the shoulder cannon. This does attach just magnetically. You know, I'm trying to compare to, you know, a smaller one third. Obviously a life size should be more detailed. See how far back that is. I need to attach that better. I removed it to attach the battery. I didn't put it back good enough. Overall, it looks pretty good though. It was a pain in the butt to get the screw through and tighten it enough to where this thing actually holds. So that was a huge pain in all honesty. The dreads are similar to my old wolf bust where, you know, it's just like rubber. And he attaches these gold things. They look pretty good. Now, the actual head sculpt. So, damage aside, I think it's fantastic. The sculpt is definitely there. It's really good. It's a good size. Uh, the teeth do look good. The inner mouth vein work looks good. The whole head is glossy, but not overly glossy. He does use Fourth Sill Studio Eyes. So the eyes do look incredible. The overall paint app on the brown and, you know, black dots look really good. I'm guessing he uses, like, some sort of thing that auto does the pattern. He probably just sprays black and it does the pattern. You know, I doubt he's, like, individually doing it. I feel like a lot of places would have something that they overlay and then they just spray it. Overall, it looks really good. These little black things sticking out, I think they could look a lot better. You know, some of the holes are like, as you can see right there, like quite big. So I think these could be a lot better. Let me look at this one. I think this one's kind of similar. Yeah, as you can see, some of the holes are just simply too big. These ones are like hard polystone and had several break. His are softer. So, you know, they didn't arrive damaged. None of those did. I just had that one thing right there break. As you can see, it's like lumpy. It has a huge presence. Huge. This is a massive bust. Let me measure it. So, including my base, it's three feet tall and about 27 inches wide to the arms. You know, depth about 20 inches. It does fit on my base quite good, in all honesty. Uh, so, my base idea does work. Like I said, though, I am going to go ahead and uh, change that logo out for my little smaller one. So, the battery, uh, like this is done via a battery. It has like a one of these. So this is uh you know plugged in. And for this guy, it plugs in right here, and then the actual battery is in that backpack. And then you have the remote. Uh so it's quite bright. Uh, it does have multiple modes as well. So you know, if you want it flashing, you can. So that's pretty cool, and it does work same with the mask. You know, the mask, you have flashing, or if you just want it light on, and it actually is like a laser, you know? So like, look, the laser's right there, which is pretty crazy. So the mask does go on magnetic. Let's go ahead and put it on. So there's the mask look. Uh, it does look cool for sure. And of course my logo fell. Uh, you know, and there is the light up 
I need to get this logo to stand better. You know, so like check that out. You know, and there's the laser. And if we were to turn off the light in the room, you know, that's kind of the look. So pretty cool light up feature. I like the fact the laser is, you know, an actual laser. And let's check out the different modes. It's like a little pulsating. I mean, frankly, I kind of just prefer it uh, like that. But yeah, there is the light up feature. So overall, cool light up feature. I like what he did there. I like the fact he includes a remote, which makes it much easier. He did say to unplug the batteries when not in use. Otherwise it will probably, you know, kill the battery. So yeah, but as you can see, my mask is severely damaged. Jupiter's cock. Overall, I think he did a good job on the mask outside the issues. Uh, he. Right here in the middle, you know, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And then what the, this is a licensed mask. I think that looks a little bit more clean. And there's the Cinema Cat. You know, I, I think Prime One did the best job when it comes to a mask. I think their mask is freaking amazing. They actually have it continually, you know, part of the visor look. You know, like they did a killer job on this mask. Theirs does not do the laser. You know, but overall, I do like the Prime One mask the best. Uh, I would say I probably like, you know, I like the paint app on his better than the, you know, mask above. The shape is a little bit different. Like, this one's a little wider than that mask. Overall, I do prefer the bust with the mask off. It does look really cool with the mask on but you're hiding way too much cool detail uh, to go ahead and, you know, have that mask on. That's why I think I prefer just this kind of look, you know, having closed mouth, open mouth with the mask above. I think that is the better look. You know, and here's a comparison to the Prime 1. Now, Prime 1's dreads are super hard. You heat them up, they just retract back. You know, so it's a little bit difficult. Like I said, but so let's analyze this. This is $3,500. We're going to say damage aside, you know, because I'm going to obviously file a FedEx claim and get my money back and then try to get repairs because I really do want this mint. I would love, I'm really disappointed. I wanted this to be good. Uh, and if there was no damage, I, you know, I'd be much happier, but 10 out of 10 presents, paint app and detail. I mean, I think the overall paint app's really good. I like the skin color. I, the face paint is excellent. The mouth paint is excellent. It's glass eyes. The armor looks good. So I think the paint is a solid like nine out of 10 overall. I, I really wouldn't change too much on the paint. Uh, I think the biggest miss on the paint is really just the skulls, like the Max skull, the skulls he's wearing, like that one and that one most notably. I think that is fine. So those are the big things I would change in terms of paint. Overall detail, I mean, it's very detailed, no doubt, but I do think like stuff like skin texture could have been more extreme. You know, the fact like I can see skin textures better on this than this, you know, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like this part's like that arm is like smooth. You know, it's like I, I think it needs more skin texture, you know, like it, you know, we're looking at the cinema cat over there. You look at the prime one, it's even more extreme. You know, like this has really fine texture work on the skin. Really fine texture work. You know, like Prime One did a really good job on that. So I think it needs more textures in terms of the body, like the actual skin textures. I think that is a little outdated. I'll say it feels like it's very similar to the cool props in terms of look and feel. 
you know, it's similar in weight. It obviously assembles different, but it it's very similar to my Cool Props Wolf Bus, but with a better paint app. Because, you know, that one really lacks on, like, mouth detail. and But it does have glass eyes, you know. That one has sculpted dreads. This is the rubber dreads, which is technically more movie accurate. And it does allow you to display it, like, angle them, move them around. Uh, the only problem with rubber dreads, you know, is obviously there's no, like, wires. You couldn't, like, you know, kind of fixate it and change the look of them. They're just going to flop down. So it's kind of like I can move them around a little bit, but I couldn't, like, bend one you know like how this like bends up you couldn't really like bend this it's just gonna you see what i mean it's like flops down but the dreads overall do look good and they are very movie accurate because that is exactly how they are in the movie they are rubber in the movie hence they like flop around a lot in the movie overall though my favorite dreads to date is gonna have to be Cinema Cat and then sideshow wolf i love sideshow wolf dreads the way they just flow are phenomenal but these dreads are definitely better than wolf's dreads his dreads are nice they're hard you know and they're like kind of globbed together which i'm not a fan of the globbed together look but they do have a lot of like nice textures and overall they look pretty good overall it's a fantastic bus though uh you know 3500 bucks I mean, if there was no damage, then yes, I'd say it's worth it. I would say just change the paint up on the skulls. And, I mean, I don't know if he could add more skin textures on his, like, future molds. You know, that's something I'd definitely change. I like the light-ups. The mask is good, although I kind of feel like the shape is maybe slightly inaccurate. You know? I don't know, it feels just maybe a tad wide, maybe that, I know he's just trying to have it fit the head, but when I look at my other masks, you know, like this one, an official licensed one, which I believe is, you know, they use the official movie, you know, like prop, the icon ones, um, you know, this one seems to be more accurate. Although the paint app on his is better, you know, like the way he did like this. And that the overall look is better on his. The mesh eyes, I'd probably prefer, you know, the eyes to be more like that or the prime one. So I may put like something behind it. Again, I, I don't plan to really display the mask for the most part. Uh, I prefer it unmasked. You're just hiding too much cool detail. Overall, I'd probably give it no damage, like 9 out of 10. Because of damage, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because there's damage. You know, and damage pisses me off. You know, because it's something that always is reminded of you. You can visually see it, especially for me. when I, Anytime I get up close, I'm going to see all these scuff marks and broken tooths. You know, like that scuff mark, that scuff mark, that scuff mark all extremely visible right there. So all that mouth detail is kind of ruined now because of all these scuff marks and broken teeth. You know, in essence, I had three broken teeth. You know, as far as I can tell, these teeth are technically just glued on, you know, and they kind of came like unglued, if you want to call it. What I wish they would do is... You know, not even have the teeth installed, but have them magnetic and you just install them yourself to prevent the damage. You know, like if this just installed and it looked perfect, there wasn't really a seam line. Like imagine that. Too often do predators arrive with broken teeth. You know, like how many times now have I received a predator with broken teeth? Multiple times now, folks. Anyways, that is my two cents on the Aliens FX Predator bust. Overall, it is a great bust. I just need to get my issues fixed. Uh, really good presence on this guy. Very nice custom. You know, you can see just how much bigger he is than like Pennywise, for example. He's huge. He stands out. He's a, you know, a showcase where people are going to notice him. 
you know, I think a lot more than almost any other piece in this room. Like when you're going to look at the display, he is going to stand out for sure. And when I get the Queen Big Chap bust in a few weeks from Spec Fiction, you know, that display is just going to look absolute killer. You know, once we get that, we get the issues fixed. This display is going to be freaking perfect. Anyways, folks, that is it. Let me know what you guys think. I'll keep you posted on how Alien FX does handle the situation. He did tell me, you know, it has insurance and he'll help me with, with any damage. So I would like to get, ideally, a, new, a whole new head or I ship this head back and he fixes it. And we're going to need a new mask, you know. In a perfect world, he'd ship me a brand new head and mask and he claims the 1500 from insurance and I get to keep both. The old head and the new head. You know, but at the end of the day, if I just get 1500 bucks back in my pocket, I'll just accept the damage as is and be like, whatever. Alrighty, folks, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.